hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop the next update on twist of fate stay tuned on today's episode on twist of fate rambi tells shahana the same about his trip to bangalore he leaves from the house saying that he isn't going forever pacho feels restless and unable to sleep Palavi tells that Rambe would get peace if he's away. Shana tells that he could have found peace here as well if he took a right decision. Ali and Ria learn Rambe left for Bangalore. Pachi feels uneasy that like something wrong is going to happen. She thinks what she can do to make herself feel easy. Alia tells Ria that she has done the work now. Pachi's ego would get hurt. Ria gets glad. Rambi leaves for the airport. Pachi gets ready to go to the temple. She tells Shahana that she's feeling restless, so she's going to pray at the temple. Shahana wants to accompany her. Vikram and Pallavi have an argument about Rambi. Vikram tells her it's his business and he knows what's happening. She asks him to ask Rambi where he went. He tells Rambi has left the house. She asks Vikram not to, over, to be over dramatic. that Rambi has come for the conference. He tells her Rambi was trying to get his life back on track. Pallavi tells him that Rambi won't lie to him. They argue. Pachu worries knowing Rambi left the house because of their fight. She leaves for the temple. Vikram asks Pallavi why she always argue that he would also make a work excuse and run from the house. Alia sends Pachu's pictures to the goons and calls him, informing him that Pachu just left for the temple. She asks him to follow her. Pallavi tells Ria that she likes to balance the family, that Rambi didn't leave because of her. She can't be the reason for the wrong happening with Rambi, that it's not her fault. Ria thinks Pallavi deserves this stress. She wants Pallavi to apologize. Rambi just thinks of Pachi. Pachi is on the way to the temple and thinks of Rambi. Rambi calls Pachi when she was wishing to hear his voice and talks to him. Rambi asks her where she is, that she's not at home. She tells her she's going to the temple. He asks her why she's going suddenly. She tells that he didn't inform her before leaving. He asks her if she wants to him to inform her before going out. The goons follow Prachi and also sees the Major Sutra on her neck. Rambi tells Prachi that he feels happy, he feels sometimes good and sometimes bad. He feels awesome now that he knows the meaning of Major Sutra. She reaches the temple and tells him that she will talk to him when he comes home. Rambi smiles and kisses the phone. He misses Prachi. Ria comes to meet Aliyah and tells that she was busy with Palavi and couldn't come. She apologizes and asks Aliyah who she was talking to. When did she inform about? Who did she inform about Pache? Aliyah tells it's time to take revenge on Pache and prove her careless. She will lose her major sutra. Ria asks her what she will do. What's her plan? Aliyah tells that she will execute her plan outside the house because some people in the house are in her favor. She wants the result to come 100%. The Pachi called Ria irresponsible and doesn't know the meaning of the Major Sutra. Now Ria will tell the same thing back to Pachi when Pallavi questions Pachi about the Major Sutra. Then Pachi will have no answer. She asks Ria to insult Pachi as much as she wants, that she has hired a goon who would snatch Pachi's Major Sutra. Then she will lose it. Ria tells that it's a brilliant plan. She can't wait to know the result. Aliyah asks her to relax and let Prachi visit the temple first. Prachi begs the people to help her take Rambi to the hospital. The people refuse to help her. She runs to Rambi and hold him, asking him not to lose consciousness and stay with her that she would call Pallavi and Vikram. She rushes to get her phone, calls Pallavi who isn't interested in taking her calls. Pachi keeps calling her. Pallavi thinks Pachi is the reason for all the problems. Vikram asks her to take the call. Pallavi refuses. Pachi gets desperate for help. Rambi lies in pain in the bleeding state. She asks someone for help. She calls for an ambulance and shouts that she needs an ambulance near the temple. She sees Rambi losing his consciousness and shouts no, runs to him. Pallavi switches off her phone. Vikram asks her if she lost her mind that she needs to leave the house and stay alone for some days. He asks her to think how she has changed. He feels that she needs clarity in her life. She shouts on him and asks him to get the clarity that he needs to decide if Ria or Pachi is right for Rambi. The people agree to help Pachi. They go to hire a taxi. They put Rambi in the taxi. Pachi asks Rambi to stay conscious and thanks the people for the help. She cries and takes Rambi to the hospital while talking to him all the way. She asks him to open his eyes and talk to her. She tells him, 
that she would come with him and not question him. Anything, she loves him and will always be with him. Rambi doesn't respond to her. Dida looks for her medicine. She calls Pratchett to ask her about the medicine. Pratchett looks for her phone and she gets Daddy's, Dida's call. She cries and asks Dida to reach the city hospital quickly. The Rambi has been stabbed. She is taking him to the hospital. He's bleeding a lot. Dida is shaking on hearing this. Shahana and Vikram ask Dida what happened. Dida tells them that Rambi got stabbed. They need to rush to the hospital. The family is shocked to know this. Dida cries and asks them to take her there. The colleagues rush to the hospital. Pachi shouts and makes her way to the OT to get Rambi treated in time. She struggles to get the treatment in time and tells that she would complete the paperwork later. She already spoke to the doctor. She shouts to call the doctor. She asks the doctor to check Rambi that he was stabbed by the goons. He fainted because of pain. The doctor asks her to go out. She stays out and sees Rambi. Doctor checks his wounds. He tells Pratchett that he needs to operate Rambi because of the deep wounds. He asks her to sign the consent form to permit him for the operation. He explains to her that every minute is important for the patient that he may survive or may not. Pratchett is shocked to know this. The doctor seeks her permission. Pratchett gives her consent verbally while the nurse goes to get a form for her. They call his Shahana Rian and Ali reach the hospital to see Rambi. They learn about the consent form to be signed by Pratchett that states that the hospital won't be responsible if the patient dies during or after the oppression. Rhea asks the nurse what she said. The nurse tells that Rambi has been stabbed on the chest just under his heart. He is really critical. The consent form is needed. Palavi loses her cool when she meets Pratchett and slaps her. She asks Pratchett how she can take her son's life decision. She questions her rights. Pratchett cries. Palavi tells that Pachi has no rights. She doesn't want to listen to anyone. She cries for her son and tells Pachi that Rambi is her son. Pachi wants to console her. Palavi refuses to listen and tells that just she can take the decision for Rambi's life. She has given birth to Rambi, that she has always prayed for Rambi. Pachi ruined everything. Pachi gave the consent for the risky oppression. She asks Pachi why she took the responsibility. Who is she to decide for Rambi's life? Pachi tells that she can understand what Palavi is going through. Palavi asks Pachi how she knows her pain. Did she get pregnant ever to know this pain? Did she have any complications in her pregnancy? Did she give birth to a baby and raise him? Did she see the baby in pain or did she carry out the responsibility that Pachi has no emotions of a mother? She can't understand her. She is just a wife that she won't let anyone sign the consent from deciding Rambi's life. She wants to know why Pachi came in their life. She causes Pachi like the last time when Lambi was shot and fought for his life. Rhea asks Pratchett to leave if she has any shame. Thank you guys for watching today's update on Twist of Fate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.